hope you've learned your lesson. Of course, I always learn my lesson. What's my lesson? Learn your lesson. What's my lesson? What? Read the translation before. The lyrics, you mean? Read the lyrics before. Yeah, I should read the lyrics before. Yes. Before what? Before you react to a song. You know, like everyone does on Eurovision Night, they sit down with their pre-printed pages of every song's lyrics translated into their own language so that they have absolute understanding of every song before it begins. Before listening to the, for the first time. Is that the rule now for all channels? No. No, that's not how we react. Blind. Blind. Just... We need oh. to do like the voice and then turn around. Do you think we would have turned around to Zola? So, have I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I... I'm sure I've told you, but when we used to watch The Voice when I lived at home with my family, we would all sit there, we'd play along, and when someone started, we'd all hold a pillow over our faces, and if we wanted that person, the first person who shouted, mine, would get that person, and then we'd have a running competition <laughs> as to who's got the person who went so far or won. And it, it, I'm sure we look like such weirdos sat in our lounge being there like mm, with a pillow in our face. Should have taken a oh. video of that. My dad won several times. Did he? He, he picked the winner two years. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Hello. Hiya. I'm Toy. I'm Goy. And Koi is in bed. <laughs> and welcome to Value the Music. Value the Music is our slogan for this Eurovision season. We want to value the music only and keep all the other noise outside of this competition. I... You guys made a request yes. and we listened. We do listen. So we you got... said we should have looked up the lyrics. As we've explained, that's not what we do. We like to just listen to a song as as it and... is, as most people who watch Eurovision on the night do. Millions of people around the world don't read the lyrics before they hear a song. They just listen. So you ask. We, we delivered. Deliver. Well, we'll deliver. We haven't. Well, we, we, we are going to. We're do about that. to. Yeah. So we are going to react to Spain entry for Eurovision 2024. The music, the music video, video with, with the lyrics. lyrics starting after this. If this is your first time in our channel... Tienes un cenicero, por favor. And... It's my most used phrase whenever we're in Gran Canaria. <laughs> We've got an ashtray! I need a smoke! And welcome. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so. <laughs> and also, big thank you to all of your views, all of your comments. Mm -hmm. I think it's one yeah, of guys, the most guys, commented The video. comment to view ratio is extraordinary. Uh, so well done. Well done and thank you so <laughs> much Extraordinary. For like, post. there are more comments on that video then. for one of our oldest videos, which has like five times more views. Yeah. By all means, thank you so much and hello to all of you new subscribers that decided that they want to be new subscribers of yeah. our channel yeah. following our reaction to Zora. Nebulosa. Nebulosa Zora. Someone commented you have to say the Z like a th, don't you? Thora. Thora. Yeah. Thora, Thora, yeah. Thora. It's important to say. Hmm. Maybe you will listen this time. <laughs> Whatever we are saying, we are sharing with you our own honest opinion. We do not wish to offend, hurt, insult, objectify neither the singer nor your nation. But most importantly, not anybody else. However, if we are offending you, we are sorry. Oh. So our reaction uh, <coughs> to Excuse me. Thora, Thora got interesting comments. Well, it was as predicted. Yeah, it was as predicted, actually. We didn't like the song. We you guys went a bit crazy. We didn't like the song. But, but the thing is, you picked some things there that... I don't know where you heard them. You pick many of you commented on the fact that we laughed at her age yeah. and we laughed at her appearance. And this is something mm -hmm. I would like to put on the table. This lovely man adores women. I it, even said he no taught me <laughs> to adore women. I loved women before, but but looking how is adoring women taught me how we need to look at women I and no matter their age. I even said in that video, had that song been a man, I wouldn't have liked it from the start. But because it was a woman, I was giving it the, the chance. We didn't laugh at her age. We made a comment about how the song sounded like she'd written it when she was younger. And the so, fact she's 55, I think someone yeah, said. Yeah, someone said. And she's Amazing. going to Eurovision. She is a babe. We said she was she, a babe. She looks gorgeous. The only thing I'm willing to take back is maybe I laughed at her you silicone. Made a I made a comment, comment about her just... lifting her a face but not a funny joke not funny, funny for joke. us funny for us i'm taking this back besides that i'm not taking anything i said <laughs> in that video okay 
So, but yeah, the put vo that vocals, vocals. But put that aside. Put that aside. You have said, oh, you missed the uh, lyrics. Of course, we you, missed the point because we didn't have the lyrics. The we don't look up the lyrics. But even if <laughs> we did read the lyrics, I don't think that our opinion is going to change following that. But we are going to see the lyrics. We're going to see the lyrics. And maybe we will get a different view on that song. Let's watch together. <laughs> I wonder how many of them lasted this far. Yeah. <laughs> they skip, 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 skip. I hope you had at least that bit because it's important. It's es importante. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. watch together. Spain entry for Eurovision 2024. The clip with the lyrics starting. I could say, the video is quite good. Yeah. There's some lovely editing in this video. Yes. And yet again, I will say, she's a babe. Yeah, she's a babe. She's we said that. She's gorgeous. And look at the red lipstick yeah. and, the, and the red outfit. Oh, we match her. Oh, Zara, we, oh. Came, we came with the same dress, darling. <laughs> and now I'm just vixen to you. To you. My past is gobbling. Gobbling. Oh. Interesting word. I know I'm the black sheep. The miss. <laughs> so I have a question. I have a question. We've seen in that few seconds, old ladies. Where were they? So you all told us it was a song about female empowerment. Obviously, we're getting that now. We we read the lyrics. We should have done that first, but that's not how we work. Yeah, yeah. So, so the the Los issue, Siento. the the thing I mentioned in the video about the two queer men seeming like they didn't really fit. I still don't understand why they were there. Maybe the words will explain you. But if it's about women, why were there two men? I don't know. There should have been women on stage. If it's a female empowerment song, have women. Yeah. Like it seems really ironic to <clears> me <throat> that like that's the patriarchy in action. A female empowerment song with a female singer, but there's men on stage. I'm in a good, good place, place now. now. Yes! Fantastic! I'm gonna hit the streets. So it's literally... Explain me what vixen means. A oh, vixen is an old, older lady who's sexy. So it's, it's not just a female empowerment song. It's a, an older female empowerment song, which is an amazing message. Amazing. 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 But I didn't feel that when we watched the live performance because there were two men, two queer men, distracting me. And you know, someone mentioned, one of the first comments I remember, someone mentioned that we laughed at the age and then he said, oh, but remember the, uh, gra the Russian's granny uh, performed and absolutely That's exactly. they've been called Russian grannies <laughs> and all they of them owned. were old <laughs> and they some of them could have sang some of them less <laughs> but that was the image so you yeah. couldn't go wrong if for example imagine imagine a world where you got two old ladies doing this dance or just routine. a load of middle-aged women or middle-aged middle -aged dancers that doing the same routine as those guys yeah. That would, that would have, have been had amazing. Different, different, different. Depth, I didn't depth. understand from the performance what the song was about in any way. And you're going to say, look up the lyrics. But no one looks up the lyrics on Eurovision Night. They just sit down and watch it. Having those two queer men <clears throat> doesn't relate to the words of the song, I feel. And, and someone, there was a comment that said, oh, you don't like it because they showed your, their bum, but you could see the bums in Chanel's performance. Like, don't have an issue with the way they're dressed. I thought, I thought they were, the outfits were great. The outfit was great. They but they didn't fit. They're men. And this is a song about I women. I think it was just a wink to the gays. It felt, someone commented, and I agree with them, it's very queer baiting. It's yes. just, oh, let's do that. And so then the gays will be on board. why is it a queer baiting if it's all about an women. old woman? Empowerment. Change that for the Bring final. Bring those comments Get some women. And, and tell us more why, because I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. still puzzled. <laughs> Tora, Tora. The, like, the lyrics are very good. <laughs> Oh, 
They are not happy, the man. <laughs> Look at her. I will admit, the song is very, very catchy. This version is much more easy to listen to than the live, I have to say. It's making me move, but I, the lyrics are very, very good. But none of that was put into the performance. It wasn't... And maybe they will change it. Maybe please change it. Please maybe, make it all about women. You know women. what? You know what? <clears throat> it happened to us in the past. We had a journey with the song. Yeah. yeah. I want to be all over it. Mm -hmm. On Eurovision Night. I wish I, I want... when we watched it, I'd got what it was because I would have appreciated it a lot more. These words are very, very good. You know, all about how women aren't appreciated, how the older women aren't seen. The lyrics are fantastic. And then in the clip, you can see how and the men this are clip, grumpy. This clip is showing yeah. the message, but the performance didn't. I just, I don't understand the choice to put two men yeah. in a song about women. Well, maybe they were not gay, mate. Just two queer, queer presenting men queer. in a song about women. Where are the women? Look! Yeah. Get these women. They show what the song is. Oh, lovely auto tune there. <laughs> Yes! This is yes, what you need! Yes! <laughs> yes! And you, and you know what? I think I like her dress here more than what she wore in the final. It's what a do lovely you think? dress. Yeah. I think oh, she looked like a babe in the performance. It was, a, it was a, a cool dress. I really love the line, I'm in a good place now. It took a matter of time. Because that isn't just about women. It's you know, very, very much about women. But the older you get, the happier you get. Like, age is the best thing in the world. You know, when people are saying, oh, you're ageist. Like, I can't wait to be old. I can't wait to get even older. Oh, I'm, it's so frustrating that the message was not conveyed very well because I love the words. And then when there were shots of the women all dancing and having a great time, I'm like, that's what we. Why need. wasn't that there? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. The two men didn't make any sense. But they will still be upset with us that we are not all over it. Because I'm still not all over it. I don't so enjoy I don't, it. I don't think... And I still feel that the live vocals, unless something really drastic changes, that, because this is hella auto-tuned, let's be real. Yeah, it's... it's, it's but the words are fantastic! But, yeah. but the message wasn't conveyed. And I wish it had been, because I would have been a, a lot more appreciative of it. Yeah, if there were those... Middle-aged lady yes. dancing. Yes. We were all over it. Yes. We were all over it, I'm sure. Oh. Look at it now. Look at this is now perfect. They're dancing. <laughs> Although the two men were still there then. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of auto tune. <laughs> It's not like my opinion about the song has changed. Mine has. Has? Has it? I, I have respect for the message and the lyrics. No, no, no. I mean, I mean. I don't want to. I mean, again. I may grow to enjoy it because it is very catchy. It is very It's extremely catchy. catchy. I'm not taking back what I said. Her vocals were diabolical. But it, I, now you've made us see the lyrics are great. Obviously, we weren't going to understand that because who sits at home and watches Eurovision with a translation book in front of them? But. It's a great message. It failed to deliver that message entirely. Put women on the stage. It's simple. Like, uh, it blows my mind. The irony of a song about female empowerment, having men there. It's, it, that's the patriarchy no, literally it's, in, it's, in action. It's okay. And they're it's getting okay cross with have, us. It's okay to have men there, but you know, but like Malta, what Malta did in their song. Yeah. Okay, so it's like the woman is in charge. There the was woman. no interaction between there her and no the men that the, made was it? sense yeah. in yeah. regards to the lyrics. Yeah, it was... Celebrate the women. Celebrate the older women yeah. because yeah. the yeah. message, the words, yeah. the, yeah. some of the words are excellent about the age and the uh, 
not being appreciated. So celebrate that. Yeah. And that, isn't that <clears throat> fascinating? How crucial the way you present a song is at Eurovision. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know the words, but you still need to deliver the, the message. message to be presented exactly. Exactly. in an accessible way. Exactly. Norway was mm -hmm. in... No <coughs> we had no bloody clue what Norway's song was about. I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea. But whatever they created we, on the stage. We enjoyed it. We felt it. it yeah. So, okay. I gi I'm, gi Neblos, I'm giving you a task, darling. <laughs> Make me feel it on that mm -hmm. performance. You have, you are in the final, you don't need to worry about the uh, qualifying. Make me feel that woman, elderly yeah. woman or middle-aged yeah. woman empowerment. I want to feel it. I want to see want some women to... on stage and go, oh, I, I love... love that you guys are just enjoying this and owning it. I don't want to see men in a song about women. Simple, it's simple. Second to that. If you like this video, <laughs> thumbs up. Please consider subscribing <laughs> to our channel if you haven't done so. Follow us on Facebook, send us some messages. If you'd like to join our Helpers team, okay. send us an email to toyandgoy.gmail.com or find us on Instagram at toyandgoy. And until next time, see you guys very, very soon. Bye! Bye. You're not that bitchy. I thought you would be more bitchy. I'm you were actually not. loving. I'm real. You are actually a very brave. Are you? <laughs>